Well, YouTubers, that was a thrift store trip. I found a couple things, stuff I didn't really, really need, so not enough worthy of a video. So maybe I'll hold on and see what I might find next week if I come back. I'm off to Aldi's. Aldi, no plural. YouTubers on the way back. I just wanted to show this curve. Way back in the day when I had a Mustang, me and a buddy used to take this curve and each day we would come in and say, oh, I took it at this speed, which is way too fast, that speed. That bump I just hit used to be big. Oops, big enough to mess up the GoPro now still. Um, I took that corner so fast that my Mustang left the ground. <laughs> and uh, I, I saw him the next day and I said, I got it at this speed, again, far higher than I'm willing to admit. And uh, I said, if you beat it, good, I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I had to be off the ground six inches and I was going really fast. So that's a story I probably shouldn't share, but I don't do that stuff anymore. I drive usually sensible. All right. This is Valley Thrift Store in Dayton, Ohio. They got some good stuff. They got some decent prices. Used to be a little bit better, but let's check out and see what I found. So it is a huge store and I took two trips there. I'm trying to control myself. Let's check it out. All right, YouTubers, here's the uh, thrift store stuff. When you see this pink carpet in my place, it means I went to the thrift store. It's been a really long time. And as I just said, the deals at the thrift store aren't as good as they used to be but I found stuff, probably more than I needed. So we'll go with this. These, I think these are crib liners. I use them to cover my seats in the van because of the pets. Um, always go on sale day, $5, which is $3.75. So that's a good deal. Such a good deal that I bought two of them. Um, they don't last as long as they should. They start looking nasty, but there's those. Again, this was two trips. All right, here's the next thing. These are HDMI cables, six foot long. Sale day again, six bucks, so that's 450. Really good deal for some HDMI cables, which I need for in the van because I'm still a weirdo. This for 69 cents and 29% off it is CD holder or CD and DVD holder. Um, I still use DVDs. I take a DVD player. Um, I like to keep noise on for the cat now, just the one. And I think it helps distract them if there's noises and stuff outside and stop freaking out. So these two things kind of go together. Okay, this is a mug from a place in Montana, an Indian school. And it was uh, 69 cents, again, 25% off of that. And I got this because I went to Montana a couple years ago. And I drink a lot of coffee, so this will help me remember that trip to Montana. Yay, sorry about the lighting. And then this is a shirt. The Ugly Grouper, Santa Maria Island. Really cool place in Florida. It's those um, wicking shirts. It was $4, which is $3. And I get a good shirt to pull the sweat off me and also a cool place. Sometimes I get my souvenirs from my thrift store here in Ohio. I have found stuff from the UP in there. All right, this is, I guess I could take it in the van, but it's a light and I got my jacker here and you can see it works, it works. It's bright light, bright light. Um, that'll come in handy. I, I had a use for this. It was $3 on sale day. Uh, that thrift store always has plugs so you can check to see if things work and uh, I always take a USB battery pack. This is uh, Gonna try to help keep my uh, Chromebook when I take my Chromebook along. It'll try to keep it Cool, and there you go. You can see it works when I plug it into the Jackery and that these come in handy and they can be crazy expensive and this was three dollars on sale day Okay, I got these. These are glow sticks. Um, I was at a campground last summer, 
and we saw people playing around with glow sticks. It looks like they were having a lot of fun. So I said, what the heck? We should do that. And 75 cents on sale day. All right, here's a cool thing. It's a fan. We'll plug it in. Make sure that you know that it works. It, uh, what you do with these is you set them over your uh, heat vents in a house and it'll help them. So turn it off. Let's see if you can see. Turn, turn it to on. You can see that it works. Then it has a heat mode on it. And if you turn this little dial the opposite way, it shuts it off, but you turn it the way you want for heat and it turns it on and it has a cool mode. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but you need it just for moving air, which it, I guess it could also help in the van, put it in front of a window, suck air in. And there you go. You turn that little dial there and it gives you what you want. So that's pretty cool. It looks like it has never been used. There's even a piece of uh, cardboard still on the back. And that was $4.50 on sale day. Um, always take your cell phone with you when you go to a thrift store. I don't think I'm going to be doing a ton more of these because I've admitted that I have a bit of a problem. I don't think I'm a hoarder, but I'm definitely a friggin' collector. So, but... If you've just bought an RV or if you can find really good deals at a thrift store. I've said before that the thrift store I go to in Dayton, Ohio is called Valley Thrift. Um, they're expanding it, which you can see from the pictures. The deals are not as good as they used to be. The prices have gotten considerably higher, so which is good because it makes me uh, be a little bit more picky instead of seeing everything as being useful. But their selection also isn't as good as it used to be, which again, I, I guess that's a good deal for me, but I still see a lot of people that go in there, buy stuff and resell it with Facebook Marketplace and eBay and all that. You can make some money doing this stuff if you do good research. But for me, it's not about that. It's just trying to find some useful stuff for my RV. So I hope you enjoyed this thrift store haul catch whatever it could be called. Um, I don't know how many more there'll be, but every now and then I like to look and you never know. You can find something pretty cool. All right, hope you enjoyed. As always, have a great and wonderful day.